ladies and gentlemen, I still remain my humble self, Luken Baba. Without wasting much time, let me quickly delve into what I have for you in this video. Yes, it isn't a news anymore that the entire Yoruba race lost a red gem, so to say. Although it was a news that made headlines in almost all Nigerian media platforms, it was announced that the Imperial Majesty Ikuba Bayeye, as he was fondly called Oba Lamidi or Laiwola Atonda Adeyemi Todd, answers the call of his ancestors. He was arguably the most reputable and respected king in Yoruba land, a court traditionalist and defender of Yoruba culture, a man who had given Oyo its true name, Atonda Omoku, Omoang, Omofu, Omoadanu, Hmm, it's a pity. Maybe that's because no place like home. Alright, let me take you through the biography of one of the fearless and daring kings in Yoruba land. Obalamidi was born at Okiafi in Oyo State on October 15th. 1938 into a ruling house and he was a member of Omiyo house. His mother was Olori Ibirunke who died while he was still young and his father was also a king Alafinraji Adeniron Adeyemi II who became a king in 1945 but was deposed and exiled in 1954 for his support for the National Council of Nigerian Citizens. Information has it that he lived briefly at Isei, after which he lived at Eba with the Alake of Eba, Oba Oladepo Ademola, and at Oshogo when the king abdicated his throne to live in exile. He as well lived with Sir Kofurola Adebayo Abayomi at Kefi in Ikoyi, Lagos State. He ruled places like Faji, Olowogowo, Ujolomoto, and so on. The late Ikuba Bayeye began his educational journey at a Quran school in Isein. He attended St. Andrew's Primary School, now St. Andrew's College in Oyo State, where he stayed with his house master. While in Lagos, he attended Obalende Modern School and Tinubu Methodist School. He proceeded to St. Gregory's College in Obalende after he left St. Gregory's College with a good grade. He chose to study law. The plan, however, failed two days after the planned travel to abroad, when his father was deposed on February 14, 1954. When you are talking of constitutionalism, it's in beef, it's in the marrow, it's in the blood of Yoruba race. Fast forward to his ascension to the throne. It was reported that Obalamidi succeeded a laughing bellow. Bade Genshin Ladibolu II. He was chosen by the kingmakers on 18th November 1970 and was crowned on 14th January 1971. He was presented with the staff of office as the Alafi of Oyo by the then military governor of Western State, Colonel, now retired Adeyinka Adebayo, in an impressive ceremony which took place at the Doba Stadium in Oyo State. It was reported that the king passed on Friday night, the 22nd of April 2022, at Afe Babalola Teaching Hospital at Duekiti. He died at the age of 83 years and he reigned for 52 years, becoming the longest reigning Alafi ever. 
His reign has been the most remarkable for the entire of your kingdom. Oh my dabale, oh my dabaude, oh my fo, oh my danu, oh my woto wole mo, oh my siabala, baba bade buriye. Prior to his ascension to the throne, he was an insurance broker. After which, he got a job with Ramsins and Sons Company. He got a job at Royal Exchange Insurance as clerical officer after which he was promoted to control officer. He as well ventured into the business of buying wrecked cars, repair and sell. The king in his lifetime has passion for sporting activities. He played soccer for Tinubu Methodist School in different competitions, both in Lagos Island and Lagos Milan. He was also a good Boxer. He began his boxing career in Mike Fadipe's boxing gymnasium in Lafiaji. He fought in bantam weight where he excelled very well. He had over 50 bouts, losing just two. Ten of his bouts were on point and the rest were knockout. The king was reportedly married 13 wives and has more than 20 children, including grandchildren. Prince Akim Adeyemi, one of his sons, said his father reconciled with everybody he has differences with before he died. I'm Niri Jubailo. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow my social media platforms Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for watching. God bless you.